back, on your stomach. We know the position in which you sleep affects how well you sleep. Yeah, we knew that, but could it help when it comes to fighting the coronavirus? Health reporter Haley Hernandez joins us now with the answer. Haley, this is strange. I would have been confused if somebody asked me too. I know, I did not know what to tell these people, but um, they were, have been asking if coronavirus patients should sleep on their stomach, and I do think there was a little bit of a misunderstanding about who needs to be laying face down, but it is true, there is a simple and helpful treatment for some patients. Dr. Puneet Potney from Kelsey Siebel Clinic says while working in the ICU, it's common to see COVID-19 patients face down on the bed. It is a bit of an undertaking to do, but it's simply just putting the patient on their stomach uh, and typically for the first four days or so, you wanna do it for a good chunk of the day for at least 16 to 18 hours if you can. He says for patients with acute respiratory distress syndrome or ARDS, being on their stomach moves fluid from the back of the lungs to the front. So when you put them on their stomach, there's a better uh, distribution of airway pressure to the amount of uh, pressure needed to inflate that section of lung. So the areas of lung that need to be need more pressure to be inflated get it whereas those that don't need as much pressure don't over inflate it's a simple idea that ut health dr charles cox says is stolen from a helpful technique in children that's an old an oldie but a goodie <laughs> that that's been around for about 30 or 40 years too believe it or not it it, it um one of the it was stolen from the neonatologists years ago because they figured out it's a lot easier to flip a baby onto their stomach right when they have respiratory failure so should all patients try being on their stomach for as long as possible dr potney says no there isn't even evidence for using proning uh prior to someone getting sick enough to being put on the ventilator and needing a lot of support Now, coming up at 6 o'clock tonight, Dr. Cox is also going to explain how stem cell treatments are being used in ARDS patients now. Owen? There we have it. Yeah, All right, very thanks a lot, Haley, Thank for you, clearing Haley. that one up.